Uh, I guess I'd like to uh, open with a, a general question here. I mean, we, uh, one of the things that's concerned me, uh, I like a lot of what I've heard, and I appreciate the succinctness of the testimony from all the witnesses have been very, very good and uh, on point, and hopefully our committee will have an opportunity to deal with some of these. But all these cost money, and uh, when I go back to the district, I keep getting hit up on how much money are you all spending, and then I also get hit up on how come you're not doing anything for small business. And I would suggest that in the Recovery Act, we did a lot of the things, at least you know, during this past year, that are good for small business. And how do we, and I guess I'd ask, how do you get the message out to your members that uh, this Congress has stepped up, at least uh, in the very near term with the Recovery Act, and done a lot of these things already to make sure they didn't expire this year so they can continue on and, and hopefully during this year at least be all right. And if, I guess my question, if we extend some of these things, uh, like we're already talking about doing the estate tax, we're already talking about doing the AMT, uh, we're talking, uh, I, I think there's some discussion about the net operating loss uh, issue, particularly for smaller businesses. If we go down that road, how do you and we communicate that successfully to small business so that they realize this Congress has helped them? Because we have not done that so far. I need your help, and I want to, I'd ask each of the members of, of the panel here, maybe start Mr. Hall and go the other way. Well, I, I still would use, I'm, I'm not a PR person, so apologize for that. But, but you're uh, a real businessman. I, I would still use the word commitment. Uh, that's one of the things I talked about in my uh, oral comments, uh, and I think that's the word small business wants to hear. Uh, and I think it's easy to say that word, uh, but when you uh, pass things, uh, extending these type of things for investment in property, for uh, useful eyes of equipment, for the AMT exemption, and again, that, that represents a situation that only the people caught in that middle bracket are going to be affected if it's not extended. Uh, passing those type of things, I think, says commitment to small business, and I think that's the way to communicate it um, to small business. And I think I'm sitting here in this chair, and that's what I hear. I hear a commitment to that. But do you, do you communicate back to your membership that Congress has done X and this should help you please take advantage of it? Absolutely. In fact, I'd love to selfishly say because of our testimony, some, th some <laughs> things happen to uh, promote small business, but absolutely we communicate um, procedures like that. And we communicate again back, we communicate that the commitment to this committee uh, to small business is very important. Thank you. Uh, it's real easy with the restaurant industry because for every dollar spent in the restaurant industry, it's another two dollars and thirty-four cents that expands out. In the the issue with the accelerated depreciation, the same amount of taxes does need to be paid. It's just paid later, more cash flow early on when you need it, and then you pay it later. So there's no loss of tax dollars. It's just when it's paid on that speed up of depreciation. On the uh, the other issues. When you save a business on the block, especially you know the, the family-operated restaurant, you're saving a lot in that neighborhood, a lot of that economy, and those are jobs that can, are saved. Well, I agree. And it, I agree with all that, but my, my problem is I don't think we've communicated that successfully to our, our restaurants on the street. They don't realize yeah. we've already done some stuff, and if we do more stuff, if we've already failed in communicating in the first part, how we, you know, what's the... I'm, I'm a restaurant operator, and I'm, I have a very big smile when my restaurant is full, <laughs> Good. and the dollars are being spent, and the employment is up, and dollars going out. As far as the actual taxation dollars, I don't know. Well, talk to some of your buddies, if you wouldn't mind. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, though. Thank you. The body sale tax incentive plays such a critical role for for the industry. Our, our membership is keenly aware in terms of what is going on with the incentive when it's going to expire. You just have to check my voicemail to see that they're they're, they're very aware of what's going on with that. Um, they've been very appreciative of what this committee's done in terms of providing a forum for to discuss renewables and talk about the benefits that you that uh, come from displacing petroleum with renewable fuels, and uh, you know. It, in terms of communicating to, uh, you know, good policy will trickle down and, and our membership will understand and benefit and the country as a large will benefit um, if, if you have a longer term extension and you continue to get the benefits of displacing petroleum with renewables. I was here just two weeks ago with about 450 other franchisors and franchisees on the Hill. And one of the big messages we push out is, is we need to thank our representatives, especially the Small Business Committee, for all the good work they are doing for us. So we recognize, and it's, it's constantly pushed. We have a government relations side, of course, on our uh, Franchise Association website, and we're constantly pushing the positives as well as where we need, we need help. 
but I would say that we, we try to keep a lot of balance there. And, and on the Hill, we probably said as many thank yous as we said we need, we need more. Okay. Uh, I can tell you that when uh, Congress enacted the NOL carryback, 15-year um, uh, for the, the uh, businesses with less than $15 million in gross receipts, the IRS put out some very quick advice on how to go for a quick refund on that. We put that material into our newsletter on our website so that our small retailers could figure out how to take advantage because, as, as was pointed out, they don't have the advisors who are right, right. there to say, let's go right away and reapply. And, and I did get phone calls with people asking how to use it, and we, we tried to help them through it. So we certainly do that. But I, I do want to stress that in this economy, from the retail side, um, obviously what all of our small business and large business members need is more consumer spending. It's 70 percent of GDP. Until the consumer comes back, the economy can't come back. And what probably is going to help the most with that, we all know the answer, it's more employment. The employment numbers are making people